Good day, good day, good day. This is Nate Brooks here. And today I want to talk about this document that I wrote up for you guys. And basically it's a it's an organizational process for you to get organized in your home-based business. Okay, I'm working with helping a lot of home-based business people, especially since the onset, the pandemic has changed everything. So what, what I found is that most people don't know how to organize their home office so that they can get that to be working properly. Um, on uh, July 29th, uh, on my Facebook page, which is at www.facebook.com forward slash the Nate Brooks, what happened is, is I, I, I put a diagram, I, I took a picture of my organizational flow on my desk and in my file cabinet and a couple other places. And so in this document, I explain how to integrate that in conjunction with how you, the onboarding process, which we talked about in the previous video. So, so this here is an integration document and it's basically the life flow organizational process for your home-based business. So that's what this is about. And, and what we're talking about here today, and, and every time I write a report, I have uh, what's in the different, in, inside the document, I have a whole list. It's almost like a table of contents, but I put it at the end of the document so that you know where to reference the material and the specific things. So on this particular uh, program, what we're doing here is I'm teaching you the fundamentals on how to get off to a great start when you start organizing your business. The next thing is that you start out from a different place. What I found is, is that the place you start out from is what do you need to protect and what do you need to grow? And what I mean by that is that you need to protect your mind, you need to protect your body, you need to protect your home, you need to protect your mindset and these kinds of things. So I start out with, you know, let's focus in on what, what we have to protect and what we also have to grow. Because as you develop an organizational system to make sure that you're successful in your home-based business, you have to account for those things. Now, so like I said, we talk about how to organize your home workspace so that you can continue to stay productive regardless of what's happening in the outside world. And I also know that you're going to get those um, unexpected events and, you know, the, the boss, if you're working someplace, the boss is going to tell you, hey, you need to work overtime here. So you're going to be disrupted quite a bit. Now, the problem is, is that when you're disrupted, are you able to get yourself back on track almost immediately? That's what we're going over in here in the document, which you can get at the, uh, and I'll write in the down below in the links below. Um, and the other thing that I want to make sure that you understand is that there are some mindset issues that you have to address up front. The very first thing that I'm going to tell you about a mindset is this, is that we've been conditioned as from the time that we went to school, we've been conditioned that you trade time for dollars. That's when you work at one hour, you get paid for one hour. Work two hours, you get paid for two hours. That's what we've been conditioned and trained to do. What's happening now is that that's not enough. People, and most people, have very little money in their savings. And so consequently, what you have to make a shift to is a combination to start with, most likely a combination of maybe a little bit of overtime so that you can make more per hour for the time that you're trading. And the other thing that you gotta start shifting to is to a profit-based, wage-based, profit-based, profit-making system so that instead of making $15 an hour or $20 an hour, you figure out how to make $35, $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $100 an hour so that you're now making profit-based wages. And that's what we do here in the home-based business. And that's the, the special coaching that I try to provide to the people that are interested in a home-based business. So that's what this document is all about. How do you start increasing your profit-based wages? And uh, at the same time, how do you transition from just uh, an employee mentality 
to the profit-based wage mentality. That's what I have for you today. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for being here and make sure you hit the subscribe button and let other people know about it. Thank you.